Hello everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques and I wanted to make a quick video and tell everybody, yay! I hit 22,000 feedback on eBay. Pretty excited about that. We have worked long and we have worked hard to get to this point. And uh, I love the feedback. It says, wow, shipped amazingly fast. Do not hesitate to do business with this seller. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, now, I want to show you um, how to make a little bit of money off of parting out stuff. In this case, a nice, <laughs> very nice Singer sewing machine. It kind of breaks my heart to like have to part this out. It was a 1951, 1951 um, Singer sewing machine. It was a 1591, I believe. It was in really good shape. I bought this at auction for seven dollars and fifty cents. It came with the case. It came with a bench and everything. Um, and I just want to tell you that you can find these really cheap. Um, people don't really use them a whole lot anymore. But if you find one that's complete and in working condition like this one was, uh, they're really not worth a whole lot. I think this one probably sold for like 70 bucks just for the sewing machine if I listed it on eBay and, and, and shipped it out. But in parts, I am going to get upwards of $200 out of the sewing machine. Um, and I don't even have everything listed. I'm actually going to list because it's a really nice unit. I think I'm going to list the whole of this. Um, I'm going to put it on eBay and see if anybody's interested in just buying the shell. And if I can get 15 bucks plus shipping out of it, I'll be happy. Um, but I'm going to go through and show you how I made my money. Um, first off, I had a little box that had a bunch of accessories in it. Um, this was the box right here. And um, it had some accessories in it. So what I did is instead of listing the accessories at a lot, um, I list them piece by piece. Uh, a lot of accessories sell on eBay for about 15 bucks. Me piecing them out, I think I got somewhere in the neighborhood of $70 out of those same accessories that if I would have just shipped, you know, I, obviously I'm not going to make that because like this item sells for $10.50 and it's going to cost me $3 to ship that. But if I make six to seven dollars a piece and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items listed, you know, I'm gonna make over I'm gonna make near forty dollars just off of these accessory pieces. Um, so I listed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven accessories, feet, rufflers, um, different pieces. Um, that I would have just tossed in with the sewing machine if I'd have been selling it as a whole and still would have just got that $80 out of it. So already just with the accessories, I've already hit the price of that sewing machine of what I would have got out of if I'd have just sold everything as a whole. I've got the three-pronged terminal cable. I listed that for $17 shipped. That'll go in an envelope, probably be 4 or $5 a ship. I've got the light. It's going to go for $18.95. I've got the front, the front and side uh, uh, scroll plates, um, 20 bucks, a couple bucks a ship. I've got the original bobbin case assembly, $15. Got the hand wheel that goes on the end that you can turn. Um, I've got it listed for $20. That one does weigh a little bit more. It probably costs about $6 a ship. Um, and I've got the uh, machine throw and slide plates. That's what this bobbin here, I'm pointing like you can see. Um, I got this bobbin here fits underneath this plate here, and it's how the machine mechanism works. Um, then I've got this nice genuine Singer Featherlight sewing machine, power cord and screws. You 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 can read. Um, so if you look, I parted this machine out completely, and I've still got the original manuals, which is probably. They're right here. I've got this manual. Um, there's actually something loose in it. It's another little brochure. Actually, it's one of the pages from here. Um, 
So I've got this little manual here, and then I've got this manual here, and they sell for about 15 bucks a piece. So there's $30 right there just in those two manuals. So I have um, pretty much, see here's the original tag for the sewing machine. If you can see that $7.50. I was the auction ticket that I bought and I've still got the um, hinges I can take parts off of that out there there's there's a foot like a leg switch that operates you run your knee up against it and it runs the uh, foot pedal because the foot pedal is actually mounted underneath the cabinet um, so I've probably got another probably can get the hinges on the case I can probably get um, probably about another ten dollars out of those I can get probably um, 15 out of the uh, mechanism for mounting the foot pedal and the knee switch. And golly, I mean, that's just that's good money. I mean, you're talking about 300 bucks off a $7.50 investment. So be looking for things that, like, it, that may be big. If it's too big and bulky for you to ship, but if it breaks down into smaller pieces, because everything wears out. It's the, what is it, the second law of thermodynamics. All things tend towards chaos and disorder. So when you buy something new, it eventually is going to break because of the laws of the universe. Things do not get better. They tend to get worse over time. So if you have parts, you can list all of these parts on eBay like I did. And people are able to come here and replace the pieces on their machines um and you make money i mean that's what we're here for right guys we're here to make some money we're here to do um we're here to do what it takes to feed our families you know so anyways i just wanted to make a quick video i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys thanks for subscribing man i've got like 95 new subs on my channel it's amazing god is wonderful god is marvelous uh thank you guys so much um so like and subscribe. Keep following me. I'm going to come up with all kinds of neat, unique, unique ideas and ways to make money. Um, and I hope this helped you guys. I want to see you guys be successful. I want to see you guys make a ton of money because um, I just love watching your content and I really do care about you guys. So I've rambled and I'm going to stop rambling. You guys have a good day. Like and subscribe. Keep on digging and keep on picking and keep on hustling.